Welcome back to my channel. This story is penned by Thomas Lawson. Jerry O'Neill Lawler born November 29, 1949, better known as Jerry the King Lawler. Is an American color commentator and professional wrestler, currently signed to WWE under a Legends contract. Prior to joining the World Wrestling Federation WWF, now WWE, in 1992, he wrestled in numerous territories, winning many championships, including multiple World Heavyweight Championships, throughout his career. Lawler is a one-time AWA World Heavyweight Champion and a three-time WCWA World Heavyweight Champion. He unified the titles by defeating Kerry Von Erich at Super Clash 3, forming the USWA Unified World Heavyweight Championship, a championship which he held 28 times. He is also known for his feud with comedian Andy Kaufman and for portraying himself in the 1999 Jim Carrey film about Kaufman, Man on the Moon. In 2007, Lawler was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Lawler was born November 29, 1949, in Memphis, Tennessee, where he graduated from Treadwell High School. When he was 19, his father, Jerome Lawler, died. Jerry the King Lawler has parted ways with WWE after decades with the sports entertainment promotion. It has been reported. Lawler is no longer with WWE after the company opted not to renew his contract, Mike Johnson of PW Insider reports. Johnson cites sources who noted that Lawler's deal with the promotion expired in early 2024. One WWE source said that Lawler's departure was emblematic of the monumental changes happening backstage. The old company is dead. People can't say they hate Vince McMahon and Kevin Dunn all they want, and they'd be right to do so, but certain people would have been taken care of. Lawler would have been one, but this isn't the old WWE. Howard Finkel, God bless him, wouldn't have had a job for life here anymore, either. Lawler had been out of WWE's spotlight in recent years due to a number of health issues. The King suffered a stroke in early 2023 and underwent double knee surgery in March 2024. Despite this, Lawler recently said his health was doing great and that he was making strides in his recovery. A staple of the territories who ruled Memphis, Lawler debuted for the World Wrestling Federation in 1992. The King served as a commentator and wrestler for years in the company and was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2007. Lawler's final WWE match was in September 2012 during the same Raw at which he would suffer a heart attack. Lawler's exit from WWE underlines the new approach to business the company is making under TKO. Lawler is the latest staple to part WWE, following the likes of Kevin Dunn in late 2023 and Vince McMahon himself that same January. Lawler remains an active wrestler in Northeast Wrestling in Connecticut, USA Championship Wrestling in Tennessee, and Championship Wrestling Arkansas. At 70, Lawler put his career on the line on January 18, 2020, against Arkansas heavyweight champion Matt Riviera in a title versus career match a championship wrestling of Arkansas's No Surrender event in North Little Rock, Arkansas, where he won the match and the title. Lawler has created some musical recordings. Among these are two late 1970s singles. Cadillac Man Memphis and Bad News. Please subscribe, comment, like, share, and follow for more content. Please support my channel by sending it to Cash App Dollar D-I-R-E-C-T-O-R 327. Thank you for your gift it is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching.